everyone my name is Vikas and in this session we will talk about digital certificate so digital certificate is very important portion in the hyperledger fabric which is kind of like blockchain platform to build the blockchain networks uh, so in the hyperledger fabric different organization come together and they build a blockchain network so they can so that they can exchange the information in a secure manner and it is not centralized so we will write a series of videos, uh, we will have a series of videos on the, uh, on the Hyperledger Fabric going forward. Uh, but this is the very first video on the Hyperledger Fabric, we will talk about the digital certificate, which is the basic concept. So when, whenever we talk about digital certificate, the very first image comes to our mind is this one. So we all went to schools, colleges, we uh, are only aware about the certificate which we used to get in, the, in term of hard copies where we used to have our name, the year, and all kind of details. So maybe uh, we are thinking, uh, okay, when we talk about digital certificate, is that related to something, uh, this kind of certificate or not? So uh, kind of, but digital certificate has many more things apart from this hard copy. So let's deep dive, let's try to understand that, what what is digital certificate and what uh, all kind of details we used to have with it. But before I go to digital certificate, let's try to take one example to understand in a simple language. So the same thing we have put in this blog. So in case you want to read uh, through, you can just go to this URL, which I'm just showing you right now, tutorialstudy.com, blockchain digital certificate. So I will also share this link in the video description so that you can go to this blog and read about uh, in case you want to read further. So. Uh, let's take one example to understand uh, let's take that okay whenever you join any company or any organization what first thing they will do they do induction program then they will issue a identity card that identity card as we are showing right now here it may be having your name date of birth your joining date your address your id number your photo and other details that will uniquely identify you that is kind of uh, methods each and every company follow right now and in case you lost your card you will not get access uh, to the company like you have to use an identity card to show your identity so the identity card will be your identity in the organization so in case you people don't know each other is so going to show show your card from that card the people will come to know you are from which company and uh, your uh, designation and other details right so that is kind of uh, what used to happen uh, with the identity card. So same thing is digital certificate. When we talk about digital certificate, what happened here, digital certificate is nothing is your public key. So as you can see in this picture, so we have a user Mario, what we are doing here. So we have some detail for Mario. Okay. So I want to get the certificate for Mario. What I will give here, I will give some name. Uh, I will the Mario name, organization, address, uh, country, public key. So what certificate authority? So certificate authority is uh, one who issues a certificate. Okay, you can't create your own certificates. Like we have just mentioned down below, uh, there are few uh, uh, certificate authorities like Komodo, uh, GeoTrust, GoDaddy, and others one that issue certificate for you so you can't create your own so what happened here in this case you will give your details and that certificate authority will issue certificate which will have your detail and your public key so now the question comes that uh, this is digital certificate that is fine now if you just go down here this is the one more picture which we have shown in this blog so this shows that whenever uh, you want to make something secure you use this digital certificate so you can see here uh, this diagram shows that whenever you open a url so suppose you are opening a https url so in that case that url is a secure url basically okay when you use http that is not a that, that is not a secure url but https is always a secure url so now that security is done using these certificates so you generally uh, use certificate to implement a security. So to make HTTP uh, to HTTPS, you are going to use a digital certificate. 
right so once you open some https url in your browser you will you may be able to see this picture certificate picture so that shows that this certificate is issued to whom okay here the entity name will come or the individual name will come and this will be issued by which certificate authority since you can't create your own certificate so this has to be issued by some certificate authority only so that name will come here then the certificate will be always valid for some time okay so this way you can get a detail so in case you are accessing any https url you can go to browser and check that one so you will see this kind of details so that is what certificate uh, means uh, digitally okay so all the digital certificate as we just shown above in this diagram will have a public key and the other detail of the users so suppose i want to get a certificate for me i will reach out to ca which is certified uh, certificate authority and they will get the detail from me my name my age or the other detail which they need and i have to pay some amount to them maybe a monthly or yearly and then they will issue me a certificate right so now i get a digital certificate for me now the question comes that how this will be useful for me right i got a certificate from a certified authority certificate authority now how this will be useful for me in the blockchain so what happens that digital certificate as i just mentioned uh, help us to make uh, implement security so i have taken one example in this blog which i have explained you now let's assume that we have two partners or we have two people one is joe one is mark okay so mark is a client for joe so joe is doing a business with the mark now joe is sending some quotation to the mark okay so now this is a business information joe don't want to send this in a plain text format or he want to send it in a secure manner so information is being passed from joe to mark but he joe want to make it secure because his competitor can fake the identity and they can uh, uh, behave like a joe and they can pass a fake message to mark as well now how joe can make sure that uh, the message which re uh, reach to mark uh, that is from his side only how mark will come to know that the message is come from joe only not from the other people so their digital certificate will be very helpful so what joe can do whenever he send a message to mark he will add his digital certificate okay that will be his identity so whenever it reaches to mark mark will come to know that this message come from joe only because that message will have a digital certificate attached to the message that will have the uh, joe uh, details and public key so by using that approach that communication become secure that is how hyperledger fabric works in the hyperledger fabrics uh, whenever we create the organizations we always use certificate authority to issue a certificate for each organization and the members so that we can easily identify who is the organization who is a member so that we always communicate in a secure way that is how digital certificates are used in a blockchain so we'll discuss about this about ca uh, going forward in the detail uh, in the upcoming session we will show that to you how ca is helpful how we can issue a certificate to an organization or a member in a hyperledger fabric so this is all we have in this session i'm hopeful that you like this video and this is helpful you to understand the basic about digital certificate thanks for watching